So I've recently ridden a bike from the Bamboo Bicycle Club. Obviously the first thing you're going to notice about it is that it's made from bamboo. There's a lot of bamboo bikes already out there on the market. The difference with this one is that it costs £495 to make and you go on a two-day course and make the bike yourself. There's also home build kits available and they cost £289. So it's quite a cheap way of coming out with a, your own hand-built frame compared to steel frames and things like that. A really cool thing about these bikes is it's, they don't just make road bikes, it's any bike you want to make, the guys there are open trying to make it for you. The owner said they've got a fully internal routed DI2 race bike. If you wanted to make a cyclocross frame, you could obviously have the cables on the top. It's just the limit of your imagination to build. So they're handmade, so this means they do look a bit rough around the edges. When I first saw the bike that I was going to be riding, you look at it and you think, whoa, it looks a bit sketchy because it's kind of the bamboo rods are bonded into the frame. They look quite strange and cable stops and any cable guides were all kind of small little bits of wood as well. They looked a bit, again, looked a bit rough around the edges. It's not like a classic cleanly made road bike. That's kind of half of the charm of if you've made your own bike, you see the little imperfections that you've made. So the bamboo tubes are bonded into hemp lugs, which are then soaked in an epoxy resin. And by all accounts, that makes a very strong frame. It's a raw kind of finish. So obviously you can see all the nice bamboo fibres up and down the frame and a million different ways for geometry that you can pick. So you could have a slacker geometry for a sporty bike or a more kind of upright, steeper geometry for a race bike. And even though the first thing when you think of wood is that they're going to snap, there's been a BMX frame that's been made from this technique and it's still going. I think they actively tried to break it and they couldn't break it. There's 350 of them in the world at the minute being ridden all these different types of bikes and so I think that vouches for their robust construction. I've never ridden a bamboo bike before so I was pretty excited to go out and ride it. It kind of, I only had a short ride on it but it kind of felt just how I thought a bamboo bike could feel. It was quite um, springy out on the road. It still felt pretty stiff but when you're out of the saddle riding along you'd, you'd feel some slight flex in the bottom bracket. It was really comfortable though. Um, I rode over some cobbles. It, took out the road buzz really nicely. That kind of led to it feeling a bit dead on the road, but all in all, it felt like a normal bike. It didn't feel some sort of crazy, springy wooden thing you were riding. It was spec pretty nicely. It had little Tegra Group set and some nice 3T bars and carbon forks. I think that helped to give it the nice kind of feeling. But one thing I didn't like when I was riding the bike, and it, it kind of became apparent as I was riding down some hills, if you grabbing the brakes. So it didn't even have to be like a big handful if you were just braking fairly, fairly hard. You could feel the fork kind of judder under the braking forces. And I, after I noticed that, I kind of grabbed a handful a few times, slamming the brakes on, and you could even see the fork deflecting under load. So that obviously is made out of wood, so it's not going to be as stiff, but it's something to bear in mind if you were buying a bike like this. So while the bamboo bike wouldn't stack up against a pure carbon race bike, I don't quite think that's the that's the point of one of these frames. There's a, there's a certain charm to having your own handmade lug frame and the idea that every time you get on the bike you can see all the little imperfections or cool, cool little bits that you've designed into the frame. I think that's a very nice addition. Price is also a really cool thing about it. 495 quid for a two-day course to build your own frame with materials included seems relatively good value to me and when you go on their website it's, it's all about getting people on bikes in a cheap way. The course is very inclusive, they say anyone can come and do it, there's no skill level required and I think that's a very nice thing to have. I don't want to say obviously again. Yeah. So while the bamboo bike obviously wouldn't stack up again. <laughs> obviously. Hemp lugs. Peace and love.